Honorable Speaker, Chief Minister, Ministers, Leader of the Opposition, and Members, it's my honor and privilege to address the august body of representatives of the people of Kerala marking the beginning of the eighth session of the 15th Kerala Legislative Assembly. My government envisions building of a modern developed Kerala, Navakeralam. We focus on digital and technological progress, scientific temper, and new levels of production and decent employment, particularly for the youth who are entering the labor force. Equal emphasis is also given to provide social security to all deserving sections of our society. According to the latest report of the Reserve Bank of India on state finances, Kerala is one of the relatively better off among the states regarding innovation index addressing environmental concerns and providing wide social security net. I am happy to note that Kerala has achieved remarkable economic growth, 12% at constant prices and 17% at current prices. Kerala is a pioneering state in the country where decentralized decision making has catalyzed developmental activities by ensuring people's participation. My government's relentless endeavor to achieve holistic and sustainable development of the state has been recognized time and again by the government of India and reputed international entities. Kerala has been ranked at the forefront among the states in the achievement of sustainable development goals consistently by the Niti Aayog. In the overall public affairs index also, Kerala ranks forefront Kerala won the Voyo Shreshta Samman 2021 of the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Government of India, as India's best state in caring for elderly people. My government has put in place a comprehensive medical insurance for the serving and retired employees. This is a unique with a substantial coverage of 30 lakh members. My government would vigorously pursue its development agenda with focus on the most vulnerable sections. It is with this in mind that my government undertook a survey to identify extreme poverty in early 22, which identified 64,006 extremely poor families across Kerala. The findings of the survey are broadly in line with the findings of the Niti Aayog baseline report on multidimensional poverty index which indicated that multidimensional poverty in Kerala is only 0.7%, the lowest in the country. My government is committed to uplifting these extremely poor and vulnerable families from their present state for which micro plans are being drawn up in collaboration with Kutum Shri and the local governments. My government is committed to land and housing for all in both rural and urban areas. Under the aegis of the life mission 
launched in 2016, three two two nine double two houses and four multi-storied complexes have been completed as on 15th January 2023. My government is relentlessly pursuing efforts to transform governance in the state to a people-centric, technology-driven, outcome-oriented, digital governance system. All departments and public institutions transact their work through the e-office digital platform. More than 1,900 services have been made online. The integrated local government management system has been operationalized in all gram panchayats of the state. The K-Smart application for urban local bodies will be rolled out by April 1st, 2023. I am happy to note that this would revolutionize service delivery in urban local bodies, dashboards have been set up for tracking progress of applications and service delivery in local governments as well as government departments with citizen interface. In order to address the issue of unemployment, my government initiated a massive program the Kerala Knowledge Economy Mission with the aim of creating 20 lakh jobs in the economy within the next five years. The India Skills Report 2022 ranks Kerala third among the states in terms of employability of its youth. I am also happy to note that the concerted efforts taken by my government in improving investment atmosphere of the state have started bearing fruit. My government took several path-breaking initiatives to transform the investment at atmosphere to a business-friendly one. The Girivan's redressal mechanism centralized inspection system, timely license approval mechanism for MSMEs and non-MSMEs have enabled us to make great strides in inve investment facilitation. Due to these progressive initiatives of the state government, Kerala has improved its position in the ease of doing business, ranking my government, ease of doing business ranking. My government will continue to bring in reforms in the investment arena and modernize and amend laws, rules and regulations to facilitate and simplify approvals for investment in the state. I would like to make a special mention of the role played by Kutum Shri Mission in empowering women of Kerala socially, economically and politically. I feel happy and proud to note that Kutum Shri is celebrating its Silver Jubilee in 2023. My government is committed to protect constitutional values which are presently facing many challenges to defend democracy, secularism, plural values and federalism, the important foundations of our national unity and part of the basic structure of the constitution, we need to take special efforts, hegemonic tendencies in religious, linguistic and other arenas hamper building of a robust democracy which respects diversity for strengthening its unity. 
a strong nation has to have a strong center, empowered states, and actively functioning local governments. For the body politic of the nation to be strong, it needs strong limbs. States have heavy responsibilities in the social sector and their fiscal position has to be strong. Recent measures to curtail the borrowing limits of the states constrain the scope of their interventions in the health, education and infrastructural sectors, while fiscal discipline has to be enforced in right earnest. There cannot be different ER districts for state governments which are not ma made applicable to the union government. Our constitution has provided legislative space for the union and the states. Incursions into the legislative domain of the states do not augur well for a cooperative federal setup. Checks and balances, checks and balances in the system have to be scrupulously observed for the healthy functioning of our democratic polity. Legislative assemblies represent the will of the people, the spirit of legislation and the intention of the legislature has to be protected. My government is my government is committed to the constitutional value that intention of the legislature should take effect as law. Similarly, the freedom of the press is a cardinal feature of every strong democratic society. Free and fair media activities are to be protected. Some instances of curtailing the freedom of the press in different ways are coming up in some parts of the country. My government is always committed to protect the freedom of the press. Here it needs, here it needs to be underscored that even remotely a perception that agencies empowered to investigate matters regarding compliance to laws are acting in a manner which deviates from the professionalism expected from them. Agriculture and allied sectors. My government is cognizant of the need for adoption of a mission mode program to enhance farmer incomes through value addition as well as productivity enhancement and to build resilience to Kerala's agriculture to climate and biotic stresses. With this objective in mind, my government has commenced a multi-departmental initiative the value added agricultural mission to realize the potential for value addition in agricultural products in the state. As announced in the budget of 22-23, the agriculture department is floating a company, Kerala Agri Business Company, to accelerate agri business projects and agro food parks in the state. As implemented in Aluwa State Seed Farm, more activities in organic and natural farming will be initiated during 2023-24. Farming systems that can regenerate degraded lands and prevent losses to the arable lands using adequate conservation measures have been attempted <coughs> by the department. Adequate thrust will be given to the plantation sector in 
the existing special livestock breeding program of animal husbandry department will be implemented in a revamped manner more emphasis will be provided for strengthening quality door step veterinary service delivery to farmers mobile veterinary surgery units with advanced diagnostic and treatment facilities will be established as part of a rebuilt kerala initiative program the department will continue the comprehensive livestock insurance scheme go go samriddhi with the lowest premium rates interventions by the dairy development department to supplement clinical and animal health management practices have helped kerala attain self sufficiency in milk production the department has inducted high yielding cross breed cows and heifers to the existing cattle population of the state the department will carry out a special quality assurance drive for detection of aflatoxin and antibiotic residues in milk milk products and cattle feed